there may be another huge Nintendo Direct on the horizon and in the very near future, and two huge open betas are going live on PlayStation 4 today. More on that in a little bit, let's first talk about the potential of another Nintendo Direct very soon, and this one might be even bigger. So a Nintendo Direct just passed yesterday, and we saw a slew of great video game announcements for the Nintendo Switch. We heard about Dark Souls Remastered, which is also coming to PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. The World Ends With You is getting a remaster on Nintendo Switch a fantastic RPG. We cannot wait for that. We know that Mario Tennis is getting another entry with Mario Tennis Aces, and that entry will feature a story mode, first time since Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Advance. Yeez 8 is coming to the Switch. We're getting Hyrule Warriors on the Switch. A lot of great games are coming to the Nintendo Switch, as shown by that Nintendo Direct Mini. However, that was just a Nintendo Direct Mini, and as the pattern would be, Nintendo has done Nintendo Direct Minis before, and every time after a Nintendo Direct Mini within a 20 day period, another Nintendo Direct happens. And there is an empty spot on the Japanese Direct website, so it makes a lot of sense for there to be another Nintendo Direct very soon. What's very exciting is the fact that this was classified as just a Direct Mini, however, I think many gamers would have been satisfied with that as your typical Direct. There were so many great game announcements. I forgot to mention Kirby and Donkey Kong, those games are also coming to the Switch, and we saw a lot of great stuff. However, if there's a full on Nintendo Direct, if it's even better, Better than what we saw at the Nintendo Direct Mini, well then it's gonna be absolutely great. Is that where we're gonna see gameplay of Metroid Prime 4? Maybe a virtual console, an update to the online service? There's still a lot of mysteries that Nintendo has hidden up their sleeves, and we should see those be revealed as time progresses, definitely leading up to E3 of this year, and you know the 2018 holiday season is gonna be a big time for Nintendo Switch. It's one of the best-selling consoles of all time, especially for the short period of time that it's been available for, and the key to the Nintendo Switch's success has has been the software. It has just gotten great game after great game when you look at The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, Pokemon Tournament TX, and of course this time around we actually have a lot of third party support which is the crux to any platform success. Exclusives are great and they're a big element too, but another big element is to have the third parties behind you, and we see that with companies like Bandai Namco, Rockstar, Bethesda, and a bunch of indie studios being fully behind the Nintendo Switch. Everyone is already very excited to get a Nintendo Switch. More software announcements and gameplay reveals will just get the anticipation and hype even higher. And with another Nintendo Direct on the way, expect the hype to continue building as we head into E3 and later on in the year when we know a lot of big games are going to be released. So consider that a rumor for now, but it does seem to be very likely. As I mentioned, there has been a full-on Nintendo Direct within 20 days of every Nintendo Direct Mini. That's happened on a numerous of occasions, and that'll probably happen again, and hopefully we see a slew of big game announcements once again. Moving on from that, we've got a couple of great open betas going live on PlayStation 4 today. They are live right now, so you can jump in and play some of January's highly anticipated games right now. First, the Dragon Ball Fighters open beta is available to download right now on PlayStation 4. Dragon Ball Fighters is the latest game in the Dragon Ball lineup of games. It features awesome visuals with very stylish gameplay, and it looks great. For those of you that aren't yet completely sold on the title, you can check out the open beta. Yes, that means it's open to everyone. And with the beta, you've got 11 playable characters. Let's go through them very quickly. You've got Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, Android 18, Adult Gohan, Nappa, Frieza, Cell, Kid Buu, and Beerus. That's a relatively packed roster, especially for an open beta. They could have easily gotten away with, say, four characters, but they give you 11. And the download for the Dragon Ball Fighters open beta is at just 2.4 gigabytes. The beta itself will end on Tuesday, January 16th, so get on that as soon as possible if you're interested. You're gonna have a couple of days to take the game for a spin. Also, another big fighting game that is getting an open beta today in Dissidia Final Fantasy NT, a PlayStation 4 exclusive. This beta begins today on January 12th and runs through January 21st, so you've got over a week to try out the game. And a lot of you guys probably want to check out this game because it's a stark shift from what Final Fantasy fans are used to. Now, there have been Dissidia Final Fantasy games in the past, but they have been relegated to the PlayStation Portable, and Dissidia Final Fantasy NT is different from those Dissidia games as well. Well, it features three-on-three -three battles, and it doesn't really have a story mode unlike the original Dissidia games, which is kind of disappointing. However, there will be story thematics throughout the game's actual battles. As far as characters, there are going to be 28 characters at launch, but for the beta, they're going to rotate characters in and out throughout the duration of the entire beta, so that's pretty cool. You'll be able to check out a couple of different characters. This beta's download is a lot heftier at 18 gigabytes, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Check out the game nonetheless. Both betas are absolutely free, open to everyone, and that's great 
if you want to check out those games because there has been a little bit of hesitancy when it comes to Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. It seems like with Dragon Ball Fighters, everybody is just stoked, but with Dissidia, there's a little bit more skepticism, so the open beta will hopefully shed some light if you want to pick up the game or not. So that wraps up this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you want from another Nintendo Direct? Do you think there will be one? It seems pretty likely that we will see another Nintendo Direct pretty soon. And are you going to check out the Dragon Ball Fighters open beta or the Dissidia Final Fantasy NT open beta? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.